Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are here as the firm of Musioki Mogaka and Company Advocates with our managing partner standing right beside me, Mr. Dan Stanumari, here to respond because we have the right of rejoinder to some of the statements that have been directly um, that have been directly mentioning us as advocates of the High Court of Kenya, but being termed as busybodies by one director of public prosecution, namely Nurdin Haji. Now, we don't know whether he was mentioning us as busybodies in his capacity as the director or if he was mentioning us as Nurdin Haji himself. But we are here to set the record straight. We as advocates of the High Court of Kenya, duly admitted as such, cannot act on our own violation by going to court and lodging applications or petitions in the various courts of justice based on our own motion. We always act under instructions and we are, we are advocates who are submitting to the ethics that govern advocates of the High Court of Kenya. Each and every application that has been taken to the court, to any court of law, always has the statements of the person to whom or the person who has given us those instructions. Therefore, it is not right that a public officer such as the Director of Public Prosecution, can in his right mind state that we are busybodies, as though we are not acting um, on instructions. I'm going to mention some of the matters that have been lodged in, in courts of justice, which is making the, the Director of Public Prosecutions, Mr. Nuruddin Haji, feel as though we are attacking him as a person. No. By virtue of him being a public officer, he should be questioned on matters regarding public interest matters that have public interest. So far from the applications we have, we have an application that we made suing the Ombudsman to check into the maladministration that is happening in the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution. That is one. Number two, there's another application where we are now aware by virtue of uh, an activist that they have been, that, that the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution has been undertaking written examination for interviews and promotions. And these interviews are being done by the advisory board, which is opposite and contrary to the mandate that has been bestowed upon the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution. There is also an application which questions the decision by Mr. Nurdin Haji, who declared on the 11th day of April 2022 that he will no longer prefer graft charges on any candidate who is vying for an elective seat. So far from the date he made that declaration, there is no single politician who has been preferred charges true to his declaration and true to his word. Is this in, accord is this in accordance to, is, are his guidelines and directives in accordance to the rule of law? Are they in accordance to, are they in line with public interest? Are the decisions he's making for himself, for his own benefit, or, the, or for, for the benefits of um, citizens of the Republic of Kenya? Graft is a topic that has been on debate for a very long time. There is no way we can, we can, we can decide to discriminate prosecuting criminals who are undertaking graft and corruption, and corruption activities for the benefit of the fact that because they are going to get into power, they ought to, have, they ought to be granted an immunity. So just because we are loud and fighting against the impunity that has been seen clearly in the office of the Director of Public Prosecution because of the Director of Public Prosecution himself, Mr. Nurdin Haji, is why he feels the need to attack us and call us busybodies. We are advocates of the High Court of Kenya, I reiterate, and that is our position, and we receive instructions. And we do not discriminate on any instructions we, we get in line with the cab rank rule as we have all been taught in school, in the school of law. Therefore, for him to come and, and attack us on a person, if he wants to attack us on a person, he should come and defend his, his petitions. Because so far we have never seen him, him coming to defend his record or setting the record straight. Or even saying that the actions, we are, the actions and inactions we are fighting him against have a legal bearing. Therefore, he should not feel like we are attacking him as a person, although at this point now we are attacking him as a person because he is now no longer trying to act in a professional manner, but wants the war between advocates. Yet he is the, he is the, he is the state officer or the, the state office charged with the mandate of, of 
of prosecuting all criminal matters. Ideally then, we are defense advocates. Unless a client comes and asks us to watch brief, we are always on the opposing side. Let him take this in a professional manner and put all personal feelings aside. I reiterate that we are advocates of the High Court of Kenya, and if there is anyone who has, a, who has a, a problem with us being advocates and receiving instructions, then they should take it up with the relevant uh, bodies that can address that. Or maybe they, they try and uh, question our academic certificates the same way we have questioned his academic certificates, which up to date he has failed to support, because up from the minute he was sworn in as the Director of Public Prosecutions, he has never prosecuted any matter. Therefore, it goes without saying that these attacks are personal and they have no basis, and we, as advocates of the High Court of Kenya, at the firm of Musioki Mugaka, are responding that we only act on instructions. There is no way we will go to court on our own violation, pushing our own agenda, but all the agendas are backed by facts, are backed by evidence, and are before courts of competent jurisdiction for the determination thereof. I will rest my case. I said to the president, you guys finish? Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much. My name is Adan Stanumari Mogaka, born on the 6th of December 1964. I attended Nyamira Primary School did CPE and got 19 points. Let Nurdin disclose also the primary school he went and what grade he got. In 1983, I sat for KCSE and obtained a Division II from Gabonyoru Secondary School. Let Nurdin Haji produce his from fourth certificate after he was expelled from Kabarak Secondary School in Form 3. In 1985, I sat for Form 5, Form 6 at Muguga High School and secured 19 points for Form 6. Let Nurdin Haji produce his Form 6 certificates. In the year 1990, I graduated with a bachelor's degree in education, second class lawyers from Kenyatta University. Let Nurdin Haji produce his degree in public. In the year 2004, 2008, I graduated with a bachelor's degree of law from the prestigious University of Nairobi. Let Nurdin produce his LLB degree. In 2011, on the 4th of November 2011, I was admitted as an advocate of the High Court of Kenya. Let Nurdin produce documents when he was admitted. On 11th, um, on 2nd of December 2011, I graduated with a master's degree of law from the University of Nairobi. Let Nurdin produce his master's degree. I have worked openly and everybody knows where I have worked as a teacher under the Teacher Service Commission, under the Children's Department, under the Director of, uh, of Children's Services. I have also worked now as an advocate of the High Court of Kenya. Let Nurdin tell us, after he left out of the country, which university he graduated from. He joined the Attorney General's office for a duration of one month, 12 days, as a state council. Where was he recruited? When was he recruited? And when did he leave to join NIS? Nurdin 
calls me a busybody. He has never argued even one case, a simple case of stealing of a banana or chicken. That is the director public prosecution. A man who has never argued even one case. Remember, he has pursued Governor Waititu and is asking, show us even one classmate of Governor Waititu. I'm, I'm daring Nurdin Haji. Show me one student you were with at the school of law. Show me one advocate where you went for pupillage. Show me any classmate of yours in the legal sector. There's no difference between you, Rudin Haji, and Waititu. So, calling advocates as busy bodies Within my law firm, there are young advocates who are two, three years in admission. The director of public prosecution, instead of coming and arguing with them in court, he chooses to go to NTV AM live in the morning, where nobody can be able to ask him a question. In the petitions we filed, the first petition, we asked for transcripts of Nurdin when he was being interviewed for the position of Director of Public Prosecution. He's the only guy who was interviewed in camera. All the others were interviewed in public with a pretense that he was working for NIS. Two, in Parliament when he was being vetted, he read a statement he was never questioned. The clips are there. He says he is a prosecutor in chief, the commander of prosecution. He has never even known any courtroom in this country. He sees the courtrooms on media. That is the command. Nurdin says I have stopped the war against corruption. He is admitting that a mere advocate can derail the war against corruption. He needs to vacate that office. If an advocate can argue a matter and adjourn that matter against his lieutenant, then that is an indictment that we have the most incompetent, the most useless person sitting in the office of the DPP. Remember, I, Dunstan Omari, has never been recommended by anybody to be arrested and be charged for any criminal offense. One Nurdin Haji, has, the DCI, has recommended he be arrested and be charged for forgery. That is a criminal suspect. I can understand why he is bitter with us. We have raised very fundamental issues that he has turned the office of the Director of Public Prosecution into an employment bureau for his relatives and religious adherents to the contrary of the Christian faith. I know why he's bitter with us, because he cannot face us. Mr. Nuruddin, come to court, prosecute your matter. I will defend the person you have arrested. You will score zero. That is why you have avoided coming to court. Mr. Nuruddin Haji is advising the public that Sonko has chosen wrong advocates. Nurdin Haji has been hounding Sonko left and right. When did Nurdin Haji, one, appear in a civil matter? If he cannot appear in a criminal matter. Sonko has a right 
to be represented by an advocate of their own choice. And it can't be Nurdin because he doesn't have papers to represent anybody. He does it. So let it go that that statement calling us busybodies, saying that we are delaying uh, the war against corruption is in response. Remember we wrote a letter to the president saying the president should force tell Nurdin Haji to resign because he is the bottleneck. He is the most person who has stopped the war against corruption. Nurdin Haji gave a circular. Don't arrest, don't charge any, any criminal suspect. One Nurdin Haji on a particular day, you will see one Nurudin Haji on top of a political vehicle in Garissa, campaigning for the party called Upia. Is that the person who is fit to be the public uh, director of public prosecution? He's a politician, affiliated to the Kenya Kwanza Brigade, so that the president, every time the president wants people arrested and arraigned in court, the one Nuruddin Haji has given a blanket insurance for the Kenya Kwanza people not to be arrested. Kemsa. Is it me who has stopped the arrest and arraignment of Kemsa billionaires? from the Republic of uh, 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 People Who Died Out of COVID? That is one man without the heart of this country. And I think his allegiance is to the Somali Republic. The war against the guidelines to charge terrorism is because he is protecting his brothers who come from that region. So today he has come out very clearly saying, it is me who is the hindrance plus these young advocates for the war against corruption. I'm sure the president heard that. I don't control the judiciary. I don't control the prosecutors. I don't control anything. We represent Song. A constitutional office holder giving advice on a case of the person he has sued, Song is lucky. One Justice Macau now retired, he got, Nurdin got an order stopping any petition being filed to the Public Service Commission for his removal. This could be a, a great ground to remove one Nurdin Haji, but he has a, a, he has a court order stopping him not to be removed from office, but he does not want Sonko, Governor Sonko, to enjoy the fruits of the courts. So, our challenge, the media, tell him, let him come court tomorrow, let him take one file, I will be on the other side, let us test him, whether he can argue one case. Remember, the case of the DCJ, he could not get an advocate, he could not get a state council competent to argue the matter. He admitted incompetency and went to get a Queen's Council from UK to represent the office of the DPP. Yet he is the one who is supposed to lead the war against criminals in court. He is comfortable on top of TV stations where I also sit. But after that, I come to court. He sits on the TV platforms. He remains there. He's paid for that. A prosecutor. When you have any contention for the matter that you are in court, you do not challenge the character of the persons prosecuting the matter. You file appropriate responses, and the court will make a determination as to whether the files or the matters filed 
are vexatious or they are filed by people who do not know what they are doing, the court will make a determination on that. You cannot, without filing new papers, submit that the prosecutors of various matters in court are people with no good intention. Loosely put, they are just busybodies. So we challenge the Director of Public Prosecution to file and to respond and to air his views in the appropriate forums so that the court will determine. If the court finds no merit in what you filed, they will dismiss with cost. If the court finds merit with what you filed, the order sought will be granted. That's why the courts are there. Otherwise, everybody has a right to accuse anyone who they think is attacking them or attacking their operations. Public office is not a private office. Persons in public office ought to be questions on their character, their credibility, and their performance. That is what the law requires of them. They should not feel attacked when they are asked to explain, to distinguish, to enlist, and the least to account for what and how they have performed the public functions. So we, we put a challenge to the director, let him defend the matters filed in court, let the court de determine. If the court finds no merit, it will make the appropriate decisions. If the court finds merit, it is going to make as well appropriate decisions. Terming persons prosecuting matters, attacking him as busybodies is just a, a departure, is a sideshow, just to distract them. We will not be distracted. We will take affirmatively what uh, we think is, is appropriate to challenge his conduct in his office, all the times he shall be in office. We are not going to relent. We are not going to be intimidated. We are not going to buy any fear. We shall prosecute the matters the best way we know how for our own clients who have, by their own volutions, selected to come to chambers for legal services. Thank you. As uh, of the press of the fourth estate, ordinarily I will not choose to speak much, especially now that my senior, Mr. Dan Stanomari, and my colleagues have spoken at length and in great depth on the matters that uh, concerns us this morning. But I think I will fail in my duty if I do not highlight one or two issues. Firstly, I am well aware that today in the morning, my, the Director of uh, Public Prosecutions, Mr. Nurdin Haji, was on AM Live on Nation TV, and he mentioned that uh, Mr. Dan Stanomari and us, as the co-host of lawyers that uh, serve under his masses, we have we are busy bodies, or rather we've been prosecuting, or rather defending matters in court without instructions. Now, what is clear and the truth of the matter is, we act on the basis of instructions that are given to us. There is no matter that we have filed in our names. There is no matter that lies before court that is filed in the name of Mr. Dunstan Omari, in the name of my colleague, Mr. Masharia, or my sister, Martina Swiga. All the petitions that we have filed in court the ones that are lying and waiting determination by these honorable courts are petitions or cases that we have been moved or persuaded by our clients to seek redress on their behalf. So the assertion that we have been prosecuting matters either without instructions or that we are busy bodies is at the very least unfortunate. It is just but a demonstration that Mr. Nurdin Haji is still living in the pre-2010 disposition, an era where we have seen in the past that he, he at least made an attempt to campaign for the Kanu regime, a regime that was known very well for declining to, to, uh, to be answerable to the people, refusing to be accountable to the public. The questions we have, we have uh, brought before the Honorable Court are questions essentially meant to bring to him to accountability, are to question why in God's name he's been employing people from his, uh, his relatives or people who are affiliated to him, why in God's name he's been discriminating some of the prosecutors in his office? 
why in his God's name he has refused to take action against people who are accused of murdering the late Tob Cohen, who's, who's, uh, who we, we've been celebrating even in today's newspaper. Why in his God's name he chooses, rather than defend himself at the Public Service Commission, he rushes to court, the Honorable Court, and seeks an order to protect him from being answerable to the Public Service Commission. So if indeed we are busybodies, if indeed we do not have evidence to have him hosted from office for, for dis dishonor, uh, for, for not being accountable to the people of this country, then why should he in the first place be moving to court to seek the court's protection? Now, in view of the Sonko issue, Sonko, the former governor of Nairobi County, is a man in his own right. He has chosen to be represented by councils of his choice. And we so happen to be his, his choice. And when he chooses us, he cannot, on the other hand, be discrediting us in view of uh, the instructions that have been given by our client. The very last person who should be commenting on the correct interpretation of law in this country should be Mr. Nurdin Haji. He has never, in the jurisprudence of this country, attempted to direct the attention of this court to a correct interpretation of the courts, uh, or of the law. To say the least, he has never set his foot at these honorable courts. He does not know what happens in court, and yet he has branded himself as the director of public prosecutions. So we are hoping in the fullness of time but at least he should be guided well on what to discuss. He is a public officer. We are just lawyers who are given instructions by our client. And when we question him, he should not run on TV stations to disparage our character, to question our credibility. And yet, the person, who, uh, the, the, the person in whom uh, we have given the mandate to be the public prosecutor ha has not done so much to demonstrate to us his competence as a director of public prosecutions. So we, we are hoping that uh, he will advise himself accordingly. We will, we will return to our chambers and decide on the appropriate way to deal with him. Uh, as the president had previously said, we are going to decide on way to deal with him uh, quite exhaustively and, and uh, quite precisely so that we do not have a repeat of what has been transpiring. Uh, I, I thank you. Uh, and for all it's worth, uh, at least my, my senior, Mr. Dunstan Omari, has tried to demonstrate his competence and uh, you know, his history in academics. Wh while his is a long journey to where he is right now, some of us are quite very new to this profession, so it will not be very difficult to dig into our past and establish what we scored in our universities or what we scored in our primary school levels. So I thank you for today. Thank you. And in light of that, I have instructed it, Nuruddin Haji, because that is a character assassination. Therefore, we are expecting my lawyers to move to court latest tomorrow to sue and bring Nuruddin Haji to account so that he can defend his position. Any other question? Uh, thank you very much. My name is Adan Stanumari Mogaka, born on the 6th of December 1964. I attended Nyamira Primary School, did CPE, got 19 points. Late in day, it's close also. The primary school he went, what grade he got. In 1983, I sat for KCSE and obtained a Division II from Piabonyoru Secondary School. Let Nurdin Haji produce his Form 4 certificate after he was expelled from Kabarak Secondary School in Form 3. In 1985, I sat for Form 5. Form 6 at Guga High School and secured 19 points. For Form 6, let Nurdin Haji produce his Form 6 certificates. In the year 1990, I graduated with a bachelor's degree in education, second class lawyers from Kenyatta University. 
let Nurdin Haji produce his degree in public. In the year 2004, 2008, I graduated with a bachelor's degree of law from the prestigious University of Nairobi. Let Nurdin produce his LLB degree. In 2011, on the 4th of November 2011, I was admitted as an advocate of the High Court of Kenya. Let Nurdin produce documents when he was admitted. On 11th on, on 2nd of December 2011, I graduated with a master's degree of law from the University of Nairobi. Let Nurdin produce his master's degree. I have worked openly, and everybody knows where I have worked, as a teacher under the Teacher Service Commission, under the Children's Department, under the Director of, uh, of Children's Services. I have also worked now as an advocate of the High Court of Kenya. Let Nurdin tell us, after he left out of the country, which university he graduated from. He joined the Attorney General's office for a duration of one month, 12 days, as a state counsel. Where was he recruited? When was he recruited? And when did he leave to join NIS? Dean calls me a busy board. He has never argued even one case, a simple case of stealing of a banana or chicken. That is the director of public prosecution. A man who has never argued even one case. Remember, he has pursued Governor Waititu and this asking, show us even one classmate of Governor Waititu. I'm, I'm daring Nurdin Haji, show me one student you were with at the School of Law. Show me one advocate where you went for pupillage. Show me any classmate of yours in the legal sector. There's no difference between you, Dean Haji, and Waititu. So calling advocates as busy bodies. In my law firm, there are young advocates who are <coughs> two, three years in admission. The director of public prosecution, instead of coming and arguing with them in court, he chooses to go to NTV AM live in the morning where nobody can be able to ask him a question. In the petitions we filed, the first petition, we asked for transcripts of Nurdin when he was being interviewed for the position of director of public prosecution. He's the only guy who was interviewed in camera. All the others were interviewed in public with a pretense that he was working for NIS. Two, in parliament when he was being vetted, he read a statement. He was never questioned. The clips are there. He says he is a prosecutor in chief the commander of prosecution. He has never even known any courtroom in this country. He sees the courtrooms on media. That is the command. Nurdin says, I have stopped the war against corruption. He is admitting that a mere advocate can derail the war against corruption. 
he needs to vacate that office. If an advocate can argue a matter and adjourn that matter against his lieutenant, then that is an indictment that we have the most incompetent, the most useless person sitting in the office of the DPP. Remember, I, Dunstan Omari, has never been recommended by anybody to be arrested and be charged for any criminal offense. One Nurdin Haji, has, the DCI, has recommended he be arrested and be charged for forgery. That is a criminal suspect. I can understand why he is bitter with us. We have raised very fundamental issues that he has turned the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution into an employment bureau for his relatives and the religious adherents to the contrary of the Christian faith. I know why he's bitter with us, because he cannot face us. Mr. Nurdin, come to court, prosecute your matter. I will defend the person you have arrested. You will score zero. That is why you have avoided coming to court. Mr. Nurdin Haji is advising the public that Sonko has chosen wrong advocates. Nurdin Haji has been hounding Sonko left and right. When did Nurdin Haji, one, appear in a civil matter? If he cannot appear in a criminal matter. Sonko has a right to be represented by an advocate of their own choice. And it can't be Nurdin because he doesn't have papers to represent anybody. He doesn't. So let it go that that statement, calling us busybodies, saying that we are delaying uh, the war against corruption, is in response. Remember, we wrote a letter to the president saying the president should force Tel Nurdin Haji to resign because he is the bottleneck. He is the most person who has stopped the war against corruption. Nurdin Haji, Yabasaki, don't arrest, don't charge any any criminal suspect. One Nurdin Haji, on a particular day, you will see one Nurdin Haji on top of a political vehicle in Garissa, campaigning for the party called Upia. Is that the person who is fit to be the public the, uh, director of public prosecution? He's a politician affiliated to the Kenya Kwanzaa Brigade so that the president, every time the president wants people arrested and arraigned in court. One Nurdin Haji has given a blanket insurance for the Kenya Kwanzaa people not to be arrested. Kemsi is it me who has stopped the arrest and arraignment of Kemsa billionaires from the Republic of uh, 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 people who died out of COVID? That is one man without the heart of this country. And I think his allegiance is to the Somali Republic. The war against the guidelines to charge terrorism is because he is protecting his brothers who come from that region. So today he has come out very clearly saying, it is me who is the hindrance plus these young advocates for the war against corruption. I'm sure the president had that. I don't control the judiciary. I don't control the prosecutors. I don't control anything. We represent so. A constitutional 
office holder giving advice on a case of the person he has sued, song is lucky. One Justice Macau now retired, he got, Nurdin got an order stopping any petition being filed to the Public Service Commission for his removal. This could be a, a great ground to remove one Nurdin Haji, but he has a, a, he has a court order stopping him not to be removed from office, but he does not want Sonko, Governor Sonko, to enjoy the fruits of the courts. So, our challenge, the media, tell him, let him come court tomorrow, let him take one file, I will be on the other side, let us test him whether he can argue one case. Remember the case of the DCJ. He could not get an advocate, he could not get a state council competent to argue the matter. He admitted incompetency and went to get a Queen's Council from UK to represent the office of the DPP. Yet he is the one who is supposed to lead the war against criminals in court. He is comfortable on top of TV stations where I also sit. But after that, I come to court. He sits on the TV platforms, he remains there, he's paid for that. A prosecutor is a pilot who, who pilots a plane. A driver who has never driven a car is Nurdin Haji. Show us any evidence. And we are challenging him, we have all his matters, let him come and prosecute tomorrow in court. Let him come and the media ask him to tell you where Kotwan is. He'll not even trace it. He will not trace it. That is a manager by a keyboard wizard. So we are putting on notice that as we are doing the stuff we know best, Sonko, we will represent him because he has instructed us and we will represent any client that instructs us. We are waiting for him after the change of the regime. If he will be arrested, definitely he will, we are ready to represent him. He is one of the people we will represent him here the day he is arraigned in court. Remember the trajectory of public service. You start there, you end in the criminal court. When Rudin will be taking a plea for forgery, we will have, he will seek our advice, he'll seek our representation. And that time, as my good advocate said, under the law, we as advocates don't choose who to represent. One Rudin Haji, when he shall be taking a plea for forgery, I will be available to represent him, but he must pay fees because we will not represent him for problem. Thank you.